Yeah, uh, I think it was good. That uh, tough game. Robert, do you think uh, you know you lost it sort of in the first half, maybe when you guys were completely dominant in a way, but you didn't maybe score enough points? Yeah, look, I mean, uh, the yellow card cost us 14 points. So that tells the story. Raphael, that was the, the turning point of the match? No, I don't think we had, we had chances right through then. I don't think that was a turning point, but it definitely contributed to to the to the result at the end of the day. Your thoughts on the yellow card and the two incidents? One with the trial was disallowed uh, in the same play? I don't know. I, I, I think there were some uh, other incidents in the game too that should be looked at. So it's not just those two. Those two were obviously very costly. Reasons. Yeah, obviously. Just a word on Kerwin again. He played well. Played very well. Yeah. Showed that he's got big match temperament. But I suppose at the end of the day, means nothing. The result didn't go your way. Yeah, that's it. Must be proud of the performance <coughs> uh, that, that the guys uh, put up. Yeah, I'd, uh, I, I am. I think it's a, t a team with, with lots of fighting spirit, and they'll play right to the end. Uh, as I said, uh, not happy with our discipline. You know, to, to concede uh, so many penalties. Although I'd, I'd, I'd need to go and have a look at the the game again, see uh, see if, if some of those decisions were. Were, were right or not. A lot of teams get intimidated by coming to this park, but the physicality you afford to show, especially in that first half, is yeah. very impressive. Yeah, it's a physical pack, you know. Uh, so, yeah. Robert, a, a guy like E.T. Lewis Tyson um, has picked up quite a few yellow cards in his, in his Sharks career. How do you Judge, obviously, a, a tight five guy who obviously gives you a lot of grunt. Yeah. Um, you know, when do you sort of decide we can't afford to look the number I, of penalties? I, look, that, that, that yellow card was so marginal. It's so marginal. So, do you really. Uh, then we have to review every single uh, uh, foul play in the game, not just the one. Line up from Robert, especially in the first half, um, the ball you got from him seemed quite scrappy. Um, not a great yeah, game. it wasn't great. Yeah, it wasn't. You know, I, I, I said, yeah, especially on the line out side, it wasn't wasn't great. Uh, so we're going to have to really work hard uh, to fix it this week. How much of a setback is that in terms of the conference and um, with the Yaguars obviously getting a couple of. I want to easier wins than they should have made. Yeah. Teams that have went outside the weekend. Yeah, well, look, I mean, it's a tough group we're in. So, Jaguars at home. And Jaguars at home will be, will be, well, we're playing the Jaguars at home and then we've got to travel and play them there again. So, it's always tough. Uh, but, you know, uh, we'll, uh, we have to go for it for this weekend and then we have a break after that. And then we, we have... Uh, Eight games left, so there's still a, a lot of rugby to be played. Any further questions? Um, yes, yeah, so it's It must give you though a, a, a lot of confidence for your home games. And I mean, if you can come up here and, and that game could have gone out, yeah, um, you must fancy your chances at home. Yeah, definitely. I, I uh, you know, I, we we uh, we're really looking forward to 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 play at home. So uh, yeah, I, like I said, there's still a lot of rugby to be played. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.